I know we complain a lot about the weather here in Ontario, and there are some places in Canada, I'm talking about you, Vancouver, who are having spring-like temperatures, but that's not the situation here. So today we are going to get you outside, and we are going to get you dreaming about spring with Frank Ferragini and his beautiful set of color. Ooh, look at this. I come out here and I just think, when is the snow going to go away? Because this, this is the world I want to be living in right now. Yeah, we're all going through color withdrawal. And yes. we're all looking forward to the warmth when we can get outside and start enjoying. And, and really, there are big things happening in color when it comes to the outdoors this upcoming season. So there's so much to look forward to. The selection material that I have here comes out of France. Okay. So this is the European trends. What's really happening? And this is Kate. What is it? Qui est Paul? Qui est Paul? Qui est Paul? Where is Paul? Where is Paul? That is Who a is translation. Paul? Who is Paul? Yeah. So we are going to uh, talk a little bit about these trends because usually, you know, Europe is a bit ahead of us when it comes to these decor trends. You've got gorgeous pictures. Yeah. This one where you see all the green and then these pops of purple just coming out. This is what is happening in European decor right now. Yeah, take a look at the picture. You can take a look. There you got a sea of green where you have some very nice planting, some nice hedging material. But then as you can see, that furniture that's there, a, an area of functionality where you can sit and enjoy. Yeah. But also you look at it, how it becomes almost like a sculpture and a pop of color. It's beautiful. And then look at this pool, the beautiful chaise lounge. We don't usually see them looking like this, but oh, in yeah. that bright green. green. You often don't think that green can be a color, but you look in the background where you have the pink wall, yeah. and then you have the pool that's there, and then you have that very nice little pop of green function, design, and that's the whole thing. These are a group of designers out of Europe that have come together. They're award winning. And this also has really industrial integrity. Okay. All of them have drainage too. So oh, well, that's good. you know on the chairs when the water sits in the chair and you get mold and mildew? Yeah. All these already have drainage built into them so the water will flow out. So they've thought about it all. They've thought about the design of it, the fact that they all look like individual sculptural pieces, but mm -hmm. they're going to have great functionality. Mm -hmm. I've always been partial to red. Right. I think it is a beautiful color. It always brings the warmth, like you can see in this picture right here. Right. Oh, of it's course. a gorgeous color to use if you were looking for that pop, especially look at that. when it's with the green. Yeah, you see right? that. You got the sliced chair in the back. So that red chair in the back is what's called the slice chair and there's a green chair right with it. Mm -hmm. You got the green planters that are there. You got that. Look at that. That there. There's not a flower there. Just no, take a look. There's not right. a flower there at all. But look at how much impactful color that you have. And also this is stuff that can be rained on. It can be snowed on. It can handle temperatures down to minus 60. Oh really? Minus 60? Six you got zero? It. Minus 60 and just let you know as well. Many of the items that you see right now. That chair that's right beside you there. Yeah. Is currently in Dubai. Oh, it is. And, so it can and, get really hot, too. Really hot. So you get the two different ones. Very nice. So okay, and then finally, I think this is something very cool that's happening in decor, but they're using uh, these artificial rugs. Yeah, look at that's this. not real. No. Those are not real patches of grass there. Those are rugs. But yeah, you got it. So that's not sawed by any means, but that there are carpets, outdoor carpets. Yeah. That are in section that come in a whole bunch of different colors. This is a weeds collection. And you see, when you put that with a little bit of stone, yeah. and you start to create different kind of structure that's there. It's almost like a little bit of a mosaic that you can create. And take a look at the different range of colors that they come in. Okay, first of all, this is freaking me out. Okay. Because think about the carpets you just saw outside and right. then think about them in this color. Yeah. Come on, would you? Well, you know what? With modern decor. This is so modern. That's so edgy. And like, I that see, is, like Hugh Hefner bright. would probably love that. Hugh Hefner would do yeah. it, yes. Yeah. I don't know about Tracy Moore. I'm not, not Tracy Moore. But take a look at the pillows as well. So here's a look at what you can do with some of these fabrics as well. You could use them as a carpet or you can build a pillow out of them. And these pillows themselves are mildew resistant. So they cool. can go outdoors for the entire season. Really beautiful. They're featured at the AGO right here in uh, Toronto right now because they're just this is where there's function so yes. it makes it easy that's the other For part sure. is too is I can leave these pillows outdoors and then you add just that little bit of color so you look at the white chair that we have over here with that little bit of orange how that pops the color out well we can change that out and put green with it as well yeah that's gorgeous and there you go Beautiful. so we usually freak out uh, I usually freak out over the cushions uh, right. when I take them out in the backyard even though they're they are all weather resistant materials I don't really want to leave them out there right. with this I'd feel okay about it oh, totally. it's literally turf like it yeah. feels like turf yeah. But it looks so good. I love the colors. And a lot of people are using these outdoor carpets too for their pets. So oh, when right. they have, they live in a condo and their pets have nowhere to go to the bathroom or nowhere to walk, they'll yeah. use those outdoor carpets for that. I wanted to bring attention to this. Even so though this is, is this? white. I love it. So this is called the garden party. So you can have a little seat over there. Oh, okay. So we're hanging out at the garden party. party. How's everybody doing? Oh, so, I see. Yes. These are like little, I, you hung a hat there. Exactly. So that's, the sure. Ken, that's the Kenny chair. So they come with yeah. a hook. Okay. So, you know, the other part about that too is, 
That there is for purses. Oh, smart. So, hey, we're at a bar, we're hanging out, an outdoor patio. So then we got the little uh, the garden party. I like on. the hat too. It's a party. This here will light up, which is oh, really amazing. Okay. Also, we have plants in there right now. We can empty the plants out of there, put ice. And drinks. You got it. I love this party. You got this it. This is great. So that you also have these happening inside, these bird houses. These yeah, are these so bird cool. houses are really great too because they're just that little pop of color. Yeah. So you can add these into the center point of a garden. Mm -hmm. And even, even if the birds don't come to them, there's a little bit of structure and really interest. It's so beautiful. really quite good. And then you take a look at the watering cans that we have on the ground over there. Those are the I ooh la watering cans. Those watering cans, you know, usually you hide your watering cans yeah. after you use them. Those you don't hide, you leave out because they're going to add that little bit of area of interest to you. The other part too is what's really functional about them is on the front here, that's the, you can see the smaller head that's there so that I can water my seedlings with it. Mm -hmm. Or on the back, I can just do a direct pour. Oh, smart. Okay, and it's rubber. Oh. Right? See, I was not expecting right? that. Right? Very light. Uh-huh. Awesome. Like so just really toy. good. You can leave those outside as well. But everything is its, its own sculptural piece. That's very cool. And that's the thing right now in outdoors is a lot of the times we think about blooms. Well, a lot of the times you're in a shaded position. So in a, a shaded spot us. underneath trees. And you're just striving for color and you have just really a lot of green variegated hosta. Right. Putting some of these items into that space, great way to add color, interest, and it's going to last forever. Well,